Good morning and welcome to your Monday Memo. Today's presentation includes a message from Mr. Langston. Uh, he'll be discussing an amazing course that he teaches here at FHS. After Mr. Langston's presentation, I have several announcements and then our weekly calendar. Please enjoy Mr. Langston's presentation. Thank you, Mr. Barentine. Again, my name is Jamarcus Langston and I am the marketing teacher here at Frisco High School. Uh, I've been at Frisco High School for 14 years and I say that because this is the first time uh, in my total teaching career, which is 21 years, that I've ever come across a program like the Incubator EDU and Accelerator EDU program that we offer here at Frisco High School. Uh, this is our second year with this program. Uh, we're one of four high schools in Frisco ISD that offer this program and I just want to let you know that the program provides a tremendous opportunity for our students who are interested in becoming entrepreneurs or thinking about uh, becoming entrepreneurs, you know, possibly one day owning and operating their own business. And we have a lot of different individuals that participate in this program, from coaches who come in, uh, they're industry people, entrepreneurs, they come in and they teach certain lessons that they are uh, professionals or experts in and then we have mentors each team has a mentor uh, and what I mean by the teams once you enroll in the class and you get into the class you have a couple of options you can build a team uh, which is anywhere between two to five members or you can go sole proprietor and have your own idea your own business if you're more comfortable that way so uh, these coaches come in, they teach lessons, the mentors work with the teams or the individuals throughout the school year. They meet, they talk about various aspects of their business. Uh, they help them improve certain parts of their business. And then we also have an advisory board. And the advisory board, they judge all of the pitches. Uh, the way the course is set up is the kids will go through various lessons and the students will come up with an idea. Once they come up with that idea, they start working on building their product. And there's different phases that we cover, everything from customer relations to the financial part. And in the spring, our early spring, we have an MVP pitch, a uh, minimum viable product pitch, where the teams, they pitch their idea to the advisory board panel uh, in hopes of gaining money for their demo so that they can start constructing their demo, which will lead us down the line to the ultimate pitch, which is our school pitch. And then the two teams that finish first and second in the school pitch will move on to the district pitch. Uh, and the district pitch night is usually in May. Um, and just to give you an example of how that works, uh, I had a team last year uh, that made it to the district pitch and they just so happened won the district pitch uh, and they received $1,500 from the district uh, and the Frisco Education Foundation to go ahead and start their business. So they go from incubator EDU, which is first year, uh, it could be anywhere between 10th grade and 12th grade, and then they move on to Accelerator, which is the second year of the program, 11th grade to 12th grade. And in Accelerator, that's where they actually hit the ground and they start using that money that they won to uh, start building their idea, uh, possibly even go into production. Uh, they legalize, they form an LLC. So it's a great, great, great opportunity uh, especially if you're on the bubble, maybe thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, uh, you would like to run your own business one day or possibly even join the family business. It gives you a great foundation as to what uh, the Incubator EDU program and Accelerator program are about uh, as far as helping you become a business owner, uh, entrepreneur, whether you take over an existing business, uh, run a franchise, or just start a business from scratch. And to give you an example of the opportunities that the students in this program are exposed to, uh, just this past weekend, uh, I had two students that gained an opportunity from one of my advisory board members from last year to actually participate on a real business idea, business opportunity that him and his team came up with. So they got a chance to interview with him. They were selected for this business opportunity. Uh, as well as they're getting paid for this business opportunity and they're helping him and his team come up with an idea, a marketing idea, a marketing strategy 
to pitch his business idea, uh, which is interactive football, to the Frisco community and a lot of the surrounding communities. So they got together on Saturday and met at the Microsoft store. So they each came up with a marketing plan. They got to pitch their plan. Uh, and then his team, uh, they're going to go back, review those plans, and they're going to select the best marketing plan to continue to move forward. So there's so many opportunities that are available to our students. They get to network, they get to meet various uh, entrepreneurs in the Frisco area and some of the surrounding areas. Uh, they'll get to meet uh, attorneys, they'll get to meet professors at the college level that also specialize in entrepreneurship. So the, the opportunities are endless and it's a great, great program to take advantage of, especially while you're in high school and all of these resources are free to you. I hope you enjoyed Mr. Langston's presentation. Check out the text of the email to see pictures of Mr. Langston's kiddos hard at work in the incubator class. Our announcements, we have a lot of them today and they're exciting. Our wrestling team had an amazing run at the district tourney. Fatima is a district champ. She'll be joining us next week so that you can see her in person. Check out her picture in the text of the email. Ava and Destiny finished in second place in their weight classes. Brianna finished third in her weight class. Our boys certainly weren't left out. Jacob finished third in his weight class. David, Austin, and Seth all finished fourth in their respective weight classes. Kavaris and Kennedy finished fifth in their classes. Christian and Jared finished sixth in their classes. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. Very proud of our wrestling team. These kiddos received a superior rating in choir and advancing to state. Mahaya, Faith, Mark, Caitlin, Mataya, Reshna, Saveda, Isabel, Clara, and Bella. So proud of the hard work our choir pulls off and their director, Ms. Bradstreet, is an awesome teacher. Speaking of state, several of our swimmers are headed to state. Jack is a regional gold medalist in the 100 free and a silver medalist in the 50 free. He'll swim this weekend at the state tournament. Adam is a regional bronze medalist in the 100 free and he'll swim this weekend at state as well. Adam and Jack are regional silver medalists and state qualifiers. Also, the 400 free relay composed of Leon Crawford, Millard and Matthew are state bound as well. We're certainly proud of their efforts and look forward to hearing great things from them. Prom is just around the corner. Please see the attached flyer. We're also incredibly proud of our Frisco Stars for competing in the Crowd Pleasers competition at Independence High School on Saturday, February the 8th. The team took home the Grand Champion Award, which is the very top award. The Frisco Stars Dance Officers took home not only the Grand Champion Award for officers, but best overall of officers. The social officers took home second place and several individuals were finalists in the solo competition, including Captain Bethany, Lieutenant Ava, Lieutenant Nicole, social officer Simone and Nicole, and a well-deserved congratulations for the entire team. Way to represent FHS and shine bright. You're welcome to see their picture in the attached email. Also very proud and excited to announce our academic decathlon team. They'll be competing in Frisco at Collin College on March the 6th and March the 7th. The state awards ceremony will be March the 8th. This team has been amazing this year. Their total team score was 39,120 points at regionals and they finished 12th highest in the 5A score in the entire state of Texas. Our program has made exponential growth in the past two years due to the hard work and commitment and excellence of our coaches, in particular to be commended are Brent Beeson, Krista Wagner, and Carl Black. We have an incredible group of nine young men who represented FHS and ACDEC. Uh, these young men have shown an incredible amount of discipline, commitments, and perseverance. Then they are continuing to make FHS ACDEC one of the premier programs in the state. We look forward to you supporting them. You can see their picture in the email. And now for our calendar. Today, February the 11th, we have boys and girls basketball at Independence. We have soccer, boys at Centennial, soccer girls versus Centennial at FHS. We have the band winter concert here at FHS tonight at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, February the 12th, we have JV tennis at FHS. We have powerlifting girls versus Memorial at Memorial. Baseball scrimmage versus McKinney at Smotherman Field here in Frisco. February the 13th, Thursday, we have a state send-off for our swimmers. We also have powerlifting versus Memorial at Memorial High School. 
on Friday, February the 14th, swimming and diving state prelims, basketball boys versus heritage at FHS, softball, JV and varsity at RL versus RL Turner at Jerry Cotton, wrestling uh, in the Region 2 championships, and on Saturday the 15th, wrestling Region 2 championships continue. We have baseball, JV Blue versus Argyle at Jesuit High School. We have baseball varsity versus Jesuit at Argyle High School. Our color guard competes in the NTCA competition at Wakeland. Our boys and girls track teams will be at the Hebron Invitational. And our swimming and diving state finals will conclude. This wraps up our weekly calendar. As always, it's a pleasure serving the families of Frisco High School. Have a wonderful week.